nation, the General Assembly, marched another round of unprecedented high-level slaughter. The Prime Minister's Nehru of India and the Pillar of Great Britain are among world leaders holding places in the world stage. President Nasser of the United Arab Emirates is present, but also the Kremlin troops themselves have beaten their troops up. He who attacked the Russian in the peacemaking agency by calling for replacement of the next Russian General Bar Gorbachev by a board which the British Consul vetoed. Words which prompted the Queen to leave the Communist delegation and come to the Academy with their fist. His way of showing opposition. Away from the General Assembly, President Eisenhower resumed his political diplomacy in New York, conferring with Prime Minister Nehru on world disarmament. It is reported Mr. Nehru put himself on record as being against loosening up the plan to oust the Secretary General a view shared by the other neutralist leader President Eisenhower, Rommel Abdel Nasser. It is their first face-to-face meeting of an hour of serious debate in the U.N. And back in the General Assembly, Cuba's Fidel Castro walks the streets of Miami. Evidently, the nation's author for one of his marathon talks. This one will last a mere four and a half hours. He bitterly assails the U.N. and the Organization of American Nations for the recent action of condemning the Soviet Union for meddling in Russian affairs. Castro even says he is seriously considering taking over the American role in Guantanamo. Sharply in contrast to the speech delivered earlier before the Assembly by the Prime Minister of Canada, Johnson Beecher, democracy, hope, and aspirations within the world organization are brought crisply into focus as Mr. Stephen Baker's words ring through the great hall. We hear voices that speak of victories for propaganda here in this assembly to win wars of propaganda. We're here to win victories for peace. That's what we're here for. Maybe the average man in today's global world had enough of propaganda of confusion and fears and doubts. But we're asking something more than we do. We're not in the loop here. Under the direction We are monitored not for any race or creed or ideology. We are here for the host of different creeds everywhere in the world. The president, people, and nations are waiting. Man's hope call upon us to say what we can do. My hope is that we shall not leave this place without having done something more mainstream so that we shall be able to say to the peoples of the world that at this time death pale flag shall not again be raised in war but the spear shall be lifted from the hearts and souls of men for this would be our last chance to achieve those objectives. Thus the General Assembly continues its